All right, welcome back. We're gonna take a look at Pivot again and go through a video about how to connect a Pivot Panel versus a Pivot Pro. As we know, the Pivot Pro has a jack underneath here to be able to connect a Wi-Fi gateway. But a, piv a Pivot does not have that same jack, but you can still monitor a Pivot with the Z-Control Cloud. And I'm gonna show you quickly how to, how to do that. In the past videos, you may have seen that the Pivot Pro panel has a connection for a Wi-Fi gateway, which makes it a two-way connection and, and, uh, and fully integrated into the cloud. Now that doesn't mean you can't monitor alarms that the pivot panel has. You can do that. Uh, you do it a different way. It's not a full two-way bi-directional type of conversation where you can send settings and silence the alarms and things like that. But you can use a Wi-Fi APAC, one of our Z-Control connected APACs, to monitor a pivot panel. Now the way you would do this is you'd set up your your APAC according to its directions. You'd get it on your Wi-Fi and powered up. And then you'd, you have these inputs on the bottom. Now these inputs on the bottom, typically people think of hook, hooking up a switch to those, a float switch and monitoring for a, for a high water. But, but these inputs can be used to monitor anything, any, any sort of closure or any sort of open of a contact. So therefore, what you would do is you would use the, the Form C contacts right here, the dry contacts, they're labeled as NO, COM, and NC. And you would pick whether it's a normally open or a normally closed with your common, and you would run those two wires into one of the inputs on the APAC. So for example, if the pivot goes into a high water alarm, the output of the dry contact then has a signal as an input on the APAC, which will then talk to the cloud that, there's, that there is a, an alarm. Further, you can monitor as a pump run dry contact right off of the, the contactors. Uh, they have uh, dry contacts built right in to the contactors, and those could be wired up right into the APAC as well. In fact, there's, there's two inputs on the APAC, so conveniently you could monitor both if you wanted to. One thing you wanna consider while you're planning your project out is where this APAC is going to be located. Now this is an e NEMA 1 enclosure, as opposed to the NEMA 4X enclosure that the pivot control panels come in. So this can't be outside. So one of the considerations is the length of wire that will need to go from your dry contact on the panel to the input here, because this may be inside of a building, this may be outside of a building, um, and you're gonna need to bury that, that wire. Well, I think you'll be able to, you'll need to bury it. Maybe it's mounted to the, to the building itself and you can, you can bring it right in. It's a possibility that you could put it, you could mount it here, but that would mean that you've brought power somehow to this. And it would also mean that this box, wherever it's gonna be located, has a Wi-Fi signal for this APAC in that location. Otherwise, this is gonna to have to go inside and in range of the Wi-Fi router. You can always consult the installation instructions for the pivot control panel to see which alarms will be triggered and, and use the dry contacts, which will then result in, a, in an alarm to the APAC. So I mentioned the high water alarm would trigger the globe and the horn and the, and the dry contacts to open, but there are there's several others such as a, a float logic error or a, a control voltage error, a, a contactor error. Some of those other alarms are listed in the instructions and might be useful for your installation. So that's how you would continue to monitor for alarms the pivot panel, even though it wasn't built for C-Control.